What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the JRD Motorsports Vlog in our own race shop edition, which is the way it will be from now on again. Hopefully. If not, that means we've ran into some sort of trouble at the track, eh, Frank? Oh, yeah. I got Frank with me tonight. Look, ah, oh, cinematic mode. Look how blurry you are, Frank. <laughs> Look at this, Frank. All right, so we're gonna get to work tonight. We are replacing all the nuts and bolts in the car, washers, everything with grade eight stuff. We just put a bunch of stuff in the car to finish it, to get it to get it to work, to get it so we can get it back here. So now we're gonna replace everything with the proper nuts and bolts in the car. That is step one tonight. And then looking at this list we got here, I think we're gonna see if we can get maybe some more windows installed in the car and some other stuff. So stick with us and uh, let's get to work, Frank. Yeah. All right. We have replaced most of the nuts and bolts in the front end of the car. What are you laughing at? Never know. You know what I mean? Okay. Jerry's in here because he's the only one with arms long enough to reach this side of our new butler's seat. Yeah, Frank, see, look, Frank can't reach. You got, you got four of them in. Grade eight bolts all the way around. Only the best. For Ryan Dice. Only the best. Only the best. You getting her? Yep. Struggles. Jerry, you're always sad that you don't get in the vlog because you leave early because you got to get up so early, but you're here because it's Friday. That's right. I believe in you. I believe in me too. It's a lot of work for a seat in eh? How much further out do you gotta go here? All right, it is the next day, and we ran out of bolts. Look at my smoking hot wife. <laughs> uh, we ran out of bolts, a few bolts last night, so we're going to run to a store and grab one, two, three, because I don't want to leave the seat like that. Safety first. You want me to be safe, right? Yes. So you're going to go on a field trip with me, right? Yep. All right, let's go. We're going to go get, I got it written down. we got to get some more bolts, and then we'll come back, and we'll get this seat buttoned up. The first dinner. Dinner? Yeah. Okay. Let's go for dinner. All right, we are back from our nut and bolt run and dinner. Uh, we got here, went and picked up some of our grade eight nuts and bolts. Those are to mount the seat. Then we got our engine mount ones here. Just uh, We stocked our bolt cabinet the other day and uh, there's a few sizes that we don't need to stock. There's just, that's the only place that we use them on the race cars. So figured those out and just went and uh, got a few of those. So. Once I get some help, we'll get those in the car, and uh, I think our nut and bolt swap over is done. Now, maybe you ask, why Why did we do it that way? Why did we put all those in the car and then swap them? Um, that's what we had at the time, so we got, we got it in the car while we were building it, getting it rebuilt for the season, and it is super, super, super important. I mean, the speed we're going and the hits you can have and, and just things can come loose, so... You only want to put the best of the best on the race car. Grade 8 bolts. Um, we use the zinc-coated ones. The best best thing you can put on on there. Um, that's what we put on. And we it doesn't matter if it's a spoiler brace. It doesn't matter if it's holding the seat together. If it's holding the seat in the car. If it's a bumper bar. If it's a, a body brace. That's what we use all the way around the car. Um, only the best. Grade 8 bolts. Uh, just safety reasons. And I mean, just, you never know, something could break. You don't want to put you out of a race for a stupid reason because you used a crappy bolt and the, but the bolt sheared off or something, whereas a grade eight is obviously stronger and it can take a little bit more of a, of a hit. Um, so safety and performance and 
any other reason just any reason across the board that's what we that's what we do is grade eight bolts on the race car so um that's what we use and that's what we were doing uh, last night when i had the guys help me and that's a court and i just did we just did a bolt run to get the last few ones that we need to make sure the entire car is swapped over with grade eight and ready to go for the season just to give a little bit of an idea as to what we bought and how much it costs for anybody wondering if you if you don't have grade eight bolts or anything um this is what we bought so this here everything gold is the grade eight stuff so these two cabinets here to stock them completely and i mean we went in quarter inch increments we don't have quite as wide of array as as you know you can get in a 72 compartment bolt bin and stuff but uh these are the sizes we got and these everything gold that you see here and this is after we've taken our, our bolts out of it to, to do the race car uh tonight and last night but uh that was about 215 dollars just for those handful of nuts, bolts, and washers. And we use Nylox on absolutely everything, uh, just because. But yeah, not the super cheapest thing in the world, but again, super important. So just, just to give a rough idea, that's about $215 worth of nuts and bolts right there. That'll do it for another night here in the JRD Motorsports Race Shop. We appreciate everybody checking us out and clicking on this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for us. Wasn't the most exciting video in the world, I know that, but nuts and bolts are super, super, super important. And you got to make sure that you got nothing but the best on the race car if you want to go out and succeed and be as safe as possible. So appreciate everybody, and uh, we'll be back another night this week with more exciting content here. Uh, JRD Motorsports, we'll be back.